So when you come to Rotorua, one of the things it's famous for is lots of geothermal activity. This is basically a very large body of water that's super, super hot, that's all steam, and um, yeah, it's really good. One of the great things about this is if you do live here and you're nearby, I think it destroys all your electronics way faster than uh, if you weren't in the geothermal area. It's so humid. Um, I'm not sure how it would be like trying to grow a pumpkin next to this. I don't know if anyone is, but uh, good luck to you if you are. Welcome to episode 8 of the vlog. I thought I'd bring it to you from outside in the patch. Uh, it's very humid. Uh, I mentioned that later on in the vlog. Uh, it doesn't matter where I am inside or out here. It's very humid. Actually, interesting fact, if the average temperature for January goes up by half a degree, and it probably will, it's going to be the hottest January in all of New Zealand's history. It also looks like February is going to be the hottest February ever since the records began, and that's just crazy. Global warming in effect? Probably. Um, how is it affecting the plants? Well, I'm in a very small location here, obviously, the world's smallest giant pumpkin patch. There's the pumpkin under its new cover, I'll talk about that later. But basically, because it's so humid and I am very sheltered from the wind, there's no airflow, so powdery mildew is a real pain in the backside. Probably didn't help that I had misters going every second day while I was away in Rotorua, but it's good to have that time away. I had a really good break. Uh, it was my birthday, I'm now much older, and it was great spending time with good people, and I checked out a whole bunch of stuff in Rotorua. I hadn't done that for a long time. So I found some water. Uh, you know, it could be good to water pumpkins. Maybe, not sure if you can even hear me. Here I am in the redwoods, going for another walk. More nature in Rotorua on my week away from the giant pumpkin patch. Here's some big trees. And it was good and it just makes you realize just how beautiful everything is here in New Zealand. You don't need to travel very far to go see some amazing things, some things that are completely free or don't cost very much at all. So a good time was had by all. Hey guys, how's it going? I've come back from nine days away. As expected, the pumpkin has grown and the one I picked was the one that grew, so that's good. It's actually bigger than the... Uh, chair that it's under so I have to sort that out I'm going to put a new cover on and the thing that I was worried about did happen uh, the plant got a whole I don't know if you can see it in that shot but basically powdery mildew it's one of the biggest problems I think pumpkin growers here in New Zealand get I'm pretty lucky with all the bugs and other things but powdery mildew so humid um, it's warm right now it sucks and I'm going to use a product named Bravo from Yates Pretty nasty stuff actually, so make sure you read the directions and take the precautions if you're using stuff. You need to be wearing one of these. Uh, it'll help you not suck in all the nasty chemicals as well as long clothes, boots and all the rest. <sighs> Did I mention how much I do not like the humidity? Can't stop sweating, gonna have to drink a ton, but the pumpkin now has some new shade. That's a $1.50 tarp and some rope that I found at home. Um, It'll do for now. Uh, I only really have to worry if the pumpkin gets bigger than that. And if it does, that's awesome. There we go. There's the rest of the pumpkin. That's what it looks like without the chair on it. I'm going to be watering by hand when I uh, need to water the patch. Today it rained, so I just didn't worry about it. I've got the, um, the rejects are here. They didn't make the cut. Oh, there was a little one. Here's the bigger one. Ah, there we go. I heard that they're pretty good to eat. Uh, on the bigpumpkins.com forum, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna try it just because I Just don't feel like eating pumpkin right now. Actually, I don't feel like doing too much 
with this weather. I'm into sorting out great pumpkin carnival stuff right now. I'm sorting out the next flyer. I'm sorting out a new t-shirt design. Um, what else we got on the go? Oh, we've got a mascot suit being made. That's a first for us. That'd be pretty cool. And just organizing the day and sorting out volunteers. Sometimes it's a bit hard to get the volunteers that you need. So we use a not-for-profit sort of thing here in the area I live in that um, allows you to get volunteers. We don't really have many growing groups around here, so it's a bit hard, it's a bit different to um, what I see in the Northern Hemisphere. There's like a mosquito flying around the camera, so that's not good for anyone. But uh, that's what's been happening around here. Let me know what's been happening with you. I know a couple of people had soft spots on their pumpkins. You want to get that under control or you're going to lose your pumpkin. Uh, the other thing was someone had some little black caterpillars. Now, they're probably around all the time, uh, but luckily we don't have the bugs that everyone else does overseas. So just use some product for that, should be good. This mosquito is probably gonna give me malaria any second now, looking forward to that. So I'll leave it at that. Um, hope to bring you some more footage of different things next week. Let me know what you wanna see, like, do you wanna see more of the pumpkin? Obviously everyone wants to see more of Tim's patch, so I gotta check out that. But do you wanna see other just random bits and pieces that I'm doing during my week? Uh, let me know. Uh, be keen to hear from you as always check out the website giantpumpkins.co.nz say hello or comment on the YouTube video below uh, make sure to like and share the Facebook posts or page all that sort of stuff you know what to do until next time I will see you then and hopefully the pumpkin has grown some more oh and actually before I forget I did a taping of it today and according to the 2017 weight chart which this pumpkin does just barely squeak in on it's around 26 kilos we'll see how that goes next video